Okay, so tonight we are talking about some helpful tips in just keeping your business moving and some things that I've really started to focus on um, this past couple weeks because I was really putting a ton of stress on myself to be Emerald, to hit Success Club, to do all these things. And when that's your main focus and that's why you're doing things, it kind of takes out the whole purpose that you know, the true purpose behind it. So you want to kind of take it back to basics and say, I'm here to help people. I'm not here to hit success club. And yes, that's important. But when you're focusing on what really matters, those other things will come. You know, if you're doing the three vital behaviors, you're doing your workout, you're doing your drinking, your shake, you're doing your personal development and you're inviting people that other stuff will come, you know, the success club, the Emerald, that will come and you just need to focus on your why and the reason that you're doing what you're doing above all else. Because I get so many people that are like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. I lost my Emerald and I need to get it back or I need to hit success club. And, and yes, those are all things. Those are great goals. And that's kind of like, you know, you can gauge your business based on those things, but that's not the reason that you're doing it. So I, I want you guys to kind of write down um, five things um, that are the reason why you want to do this business and, and to be and to do it well. So whether it be and, and if, it, if helping people is one of your things, be a little more specific. So start to write down, you know, five of your biggest reasons. It can be something about your family. It can be something about you know, yourself physically, financially, emotionally, whatever, it can be helping others. But I don't want you to just say to help others because that's not a deep enough why to make you get off the couch when you don't feel like doing it. So um, that's your homework to write down five things and then we'll talk about that a little at the end. Um, but, but so I have just really been trying to tell people because there's a statistic that 79% of diamond coaches come from challenge groups. So, you know, they were challengers first. So don't think that everybody needs to be a discount coach. Yes, that's awesome to get discount coaches, but you know, and if they do sign up as a discount coach, continuously treat them like a challenger. Don't treat them any differently. If they're really only signing up for the discount, don't be like, okay, I'm going to add you to my seven day group. Da, da, da. You know, they are not wanting to help other people right now. They want to work on themselves and they still need you to be their coach regardless if they sign up for a, as a discount coach or not. So my biggest focus right now is making my challenge groups engaging, fun, interactive, and giving people a really awesome experience. And I plug coaching all the time in my challenge groups. I'll kind of talk about, you know, um, oh my gosh, I, a new coach so-and-so or um, – posted this, this isn't she awesome and if one of my challengers become a coach is like I had one girl and she was thinking of becoming a coach and I said what do you guys think should uh, Heather sign up as a coach and they were all like yes oh my gosh she'd be awesome and even other challengers that weren't coaches were saying that because she was debating signing up for a coach uh, anyways so just make it like don't think that it's icky to talk about coaching in your challenge groups be very transparent uh, talk about, you know, something about why you love coaching often and, you know, just invite them all the time and invite them to buy another challenge pack, you know, Hey, is anybody wants to try 21 day fix extreme? It's on sale this month for 10 bucks with your monthly shake. -o. just let us know if you want to do that. So I'm always kind of plugging things like that. You know, um, you're drinking shake. anyways, do you want to get another program for 10 bucks? You'll get another set of containers, a new workout and a, and um, the shaker cup, you know, things like that. So, um, actually what would you say is something that you struggle with that you think you need to do more of? I think the, one of the biggest things for me is posting, but also just being accountable. Like I need to be accountable to myself and be, I don't know, that's, that's something I, so I can do the workouts a day. That's not like a big deal. But it's like being accountable for the rest of the day and like food. I love food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. But just being accountable to myself and like getting up. It's not to be excuses, but like being a mom, like, 
like she gets up early. I try to take care of her and then I go to work and I serve in the evening and then it's like I get home late. So then I try to stay up until two, but then she gets up at six or seven. Yeah, you so it's like, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's kind of the hard part. And then, but then I really think like posting is really, really, really hard for me. Like just to get out there. Cause I'm like today I was posting like about the 4th of July, just about like target market i was kind of using that and i had three police blow up my phone about it works some other one she was knocking shake and saying how bad it was like how it's not a proper meal replacement i'm like and then i got like a makeup one like on instagram or facebook facebook messenger from your uh, post today let me go look at it yeah well they were just saying like all my fitness stuff like just I'm trying to be healthier and I'm just trying to think or I'll look up and see what she said. I, I've never even heard of the company she said. That's really strange. But um, honestly, I mean, you can't, you can't like say I'm not going to post because of those things. Cause those people just need yeah. training. Those people just need training in their life and they're not getting it. And so they think that the best way to sell their product is to, jump on everybody and I'm like you know if also if she's trying to sell something else and she's bashing Shakeology that's not the way to go about it I never back no. thing because that makes me already be defensive and no I'm not going to want to even listen to what you're saying so just yeah. also keep that in mind as you're talking to other people you know if they're using um Advocare or Herbalife or something like that. I always just say, I don't know. All I know is Shakeology has helped me to X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. Okay. So I always, you know, kind of say that and I'll say the only thing I have heard and I haven't really looked into it is that um, a lot of times they, those other shakes have artificial sweeteners. So you just want to make sure that, you know, you're not seeing sucralose or Splenda yeah. things like that. That's like really the only thing that I'll ever say is the only thing I do know is that sometimes those other shakes are cheaper because they use cheaper ingredients. But for the most part, I'm just like, I don't know. All I know is, and then I say what I've loved about Chicken Yeah. And, and honestly, I just ignore messages when people like try to say, I'm like, mm hmm. I was just like, I don't want to hear this. I was like, well, it really worked for me, so. <laughs> I Honestly, I just, you don't even have to respond to it, because what is she trying to do? It's rude, so. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so basically, you know, just with your posting schedule is just try to focus on three posts a day and get a posting schedule in place. And then when you know, like look at it the day before and know what's gonna happen and always take pictures on your phone. If you have lunch today and it's not on your schedule, just always take pictures so that you have extra th things to throw in. So that you're not like scrambling for a pic and things. Yeah, I just picked up on yeah, I, just take pictures all the time. <laughs> and um, if, if something is like motivational, you can always, um, you know, look on Pinterest or Instagram or, you know, Google for a motivational quote that you like, and then just use the app word swag and just put it over top of a picture of you. It's like, say it's you, yeah. you know, working out, or maybe it's you and your daughter and it's like a motivational or a something to do with self-confidence. And you can just kind of make it your own instead of just sharing that motivational quote. I love to do that. Take a picture of yourself, put that quote that you like on it, and then people can connect with you. Yeah. So I try, I would try to do that at least once a week. And that's kind of something that people will be like, oh, I love that. And, you know, you could do little things about self-confidence and have pictures of, like you and your daughter, um, you know, stuff like that. I think people would really connect with that. Can I ask you a quick question about, uh, there's like, where if you take a picture of your food and you want to like blur the rest or make the rest of the scenery, the background white, which one is that vibrantly or is there vibrantly does that and then if you actually want to blur aviary okay. a-v-i-a-r-y like it has a little like blurring action okay, okay. and did we decide is it, 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 are you danielle oh, I, yeah. okay 
<laughs> I don't remember. Are you, I didn't remember Melissa saying it, Danielle. So I was like, is this D? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I was in the bathroom with my daughter. <laughs> You're fine. I'm sorry. I'm not, not really good with faces either. So um, how long have you been a coach? Since the beginning of June. So just like a month now. Okay. All right. So um, what have you been doing since coaching, since you started coaching, and what have you been doing that you found has been helpful? And what do you think that you need to work on? I think the post helped the most, honestly, like my transformation um, picture, my first one, like introducing myself and everything that got me the most um, like feedback from people and got me the most messages from people. But of course everybody said no yeah. um, or changed their minds. Um, but I think my biggest problem is probably how, like maybe what I'm saying to people when I message them or definitely not messaging people enough. Okay. Um, and what is your last name on Facebook? It's Danielle Lorraine, but my last name is Roberts. Okay. I'm just so, trying to find you. So there we go. I'll add you as a friend. Um, okay. So were you doing beach body before you started as a coach? Like last year, I think it was, I started doing the Shakeology and the T25 mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of results with that, but I didn't know at the time that I had an issue with milk. Oh. So the Shakeology was making me break out really bad. Oh no. So you do the vegan now? Yeah. So I did quit taking it for a while and tried all these other crazy diets and stuff. So, but I, like I told your sister I have wanted to do like the beach body coaching for like the last year and I just never had the guts to do it. That's so awesome. And what is your maiden name? Fever. Okay. You look so familiar. Did you, are you from Washington? I went to high school with both of you. Melissa was a year older than me and I think you were a year or two younger than me. Okay. All right. That's probably, what I was thinking it was high school, but I was like, oh my gosh, you look so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I see you're 110 pounds. Yes, okay, I thought this was you. I didn't want to say, are you the one that lost over 100 pounds? But Melissa was telling me that she had a coach signing on that had lost 100 pounds. That is so cool. So, um, yeah, I mean, when people see that, they're like, okay, this works. I want to know what you're doing. So it's really important, you know, to have your before and after photos and things. And anybody that... I think my sweaty fiance, he wants to see what I'm doing. So. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, anybody that like commented or liked or anything, um, on your, like a, that original transformation, write them down and get, add them to your list. That's what I did. Okay, good. <laughs> and just, looking, I was like adding them and just keep checking in on them. And the post I made today was I have a maintenance group and anybody can be added to that. It doesn't even have to be doing a beach body program. And that would be a great way to follow up with people and be like, Hey girl, how are you? I know last time wasn't the best time for you, but I'm starting another group on July 4th. And I just wanted to know if you wanted to join us. Um, and then if they say no again to the challenge group, to the challenge pack and things, then say, okay, well, I actually have a, a maintenance group where we're all just focusing on trying to eat healthier, um, exercise 30 minutes a day and drink more water. Do you want me to add you to that while you, you know, are saving up or whatever? And, um, I can help you along your journey that way. Or something like that. So that's why that, that group is really great is if people tell you no, you have an option of somewhere to put them other than the, like the one week a month that I do a five day clean eating group. I don't have anywhere to put people because I don't do free groups anymore because I really haven't had a great conversion rate recently when we do like at the Pinterest schedule and we're like, Hey, day one, day two, I have like five women that have done it over a year and all they want to do is this free freaking Pinterest schedule. They don't want anything to do with beach body. <laughs> like that's all they want to do. So I was like, okay, I'm like, I'm over this. So I think a, a general group where there's no specific schedule, everybody's doing whatever is great because you can talk about your Shakeology and you can talk about your 21 day fix in there and you're planting seeds. And I made the pin post like, Hey, you don't have to be doing any specific program all we ask is that if you're drinking anything other than Shakeology you're not name dropping or trying to sell in here because in the past I've had people do that and I'm like no we don't want to be like oh what protein shake are you drinking yeah it's only this much da, da, da. so I just nip that in the butt because I've had that happen with free groups in the past and I just said this is we're not trying to sell you anything but you know we're not going to talk about anything if it's not Shakeology related just because it's mostly a Beachbody group.
Right. So um, that that's kind of cool too. And they're just going to be posting daily. And then Krista and Lori were getting people together to just, you know, make a post a day, whether it's motivational or sharing a recipe or something. So it's still going to be interactive for these people. And it's just a great way when somebody tells you no, instead of being like, Thanks anyways, being like, well, I actually have a group that I can add you to. So I would um, definitely plug into that because when I first started, that's what I did. I used a free group and those were the people that became my, my challengers and um, my coaches along the way. So you can also kind of make a post like, hey, do you have, you know, a workout program sitting on the shelf and you want to dust it off and get some results with us? I have a, you know, free accountability group message me below or comment or something and then talk to them make sure they're not working with another coach and if it's a beach body program all you have to do is you can get them switched to you as their free coach they'll just do like a live chat and say hey i want to switch to danielle um her coach idea is da 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 and they can switch to you if they're not working with a coach and then you can add them to your group i mean add anybody if they're like i'm doing Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies, then you can just add them. But I say that because my mom did that for like years before 21 Day Fix. <laughs> She's been doing 21 Day Fix for like two years now, but that's she was doing Richard Simmons VHS tapes before. <laughs> um, so if they're doing a beach body program, I always ha say, okay, are you working with a coach? If they are working with another coach, I don't add them. Um, okay, reach out to your coach. If they aren't, then I get them to switch for me to be their free coach so that if they order anything in the future, it's going to go to me um, kind of thing. And then I would, you can also add the people that have Beachbody programs to your paid challenge group. Because even if they didn't buy anything, that is, the, our paid challenge groups are saved strictly for people that either have Beachbody programs or Shakeology. So if you find somebody that you make a post like, hey, does anybody want to dust off their, you know, workout DVDs that's on their shelf and get moving this summer? Um, and then they say, oh, I've got T25. And you're like, oh, well, do you have a coach? Are you working with the coach? They, you can get them signed up with you and actually get them in their paid group, which is going to offer them a lot more value. And then maybe you can, you know, sell them on Shakeology down the road or coaching or something like that. So I would really play up your free group. Um, you know, don't take a no personally. I had a girl just sign up as a coach um, last week. She's kicking butt. She signed up three coaches and she told me no for two years. So, you know, I didn't give up on her because, you know, I just know that some, not everybody wants to do it right when you ask them. Most people take at least five exposures to say yes when, you know, you actually have to ask them five different times or, you know, invite them to five different sneak peeks or things like that. And you guys are starting to do the live, um, what is a challenge group event and live, uh, what is coaching events. Um, so those are just great to just, you know, and I invite my challengers to that too, the what is coaching, you know, Hey guys, are you doing anything tonight? You want to grab a glass of wine and join us and just learn about what we do as coaches. Um, and you can, I'd love some feedback about how we do. It's our first time doing it. Uh, also, if you want to just see if you're interested in getting 25% off your programs, join in, you know, kind of thing like that. Just make it really laid back and invite them. And that's a great way. And that's, um, you know, an awesome way to get people involved. What are you making for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I am making my soft salad and I am making them spaghetti. Oh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I was at, I was right next to Whole Foods today, so I picked up um, a salad for dinner, or a salad for dinner, and then a salad for tomorrow. I was like, oh, this is such an expensive stop. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I love Whole Foods bar, but it's like, oh, how did I spend twenty dollars? Right. So, all right. Um, so. Are you, did you kind of, do you, are you still stuck on how to do your posting, Ashley? Do you think that you can just kind of plan ahead more and, um, you know, if you know you're going into work at five, just your last post, you can plan your post ahead of time and go to the bathroom and make a post, something like that? Yeah, I, um, right before uh, Pink wanted to start, I call her Pink, so. Yeah. <laughs> when I used to work with her at Red Robin, I would call her Pink. Yeah, so everybody at Roadhouse do. called her Pink there, too, so. I have a habit of, I'm trying to break it but um when I was talking to Melissa we talked about creating a posting schedule so I had that and then she said she wanted us to start post like it's your job as well as girl boss 
yesterday. So I've been trying to do that for this week. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just trying to keep them both on track. That's a little, and that's another thing. It's like sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and it's just like, okay. Yeah. When it, I mean, it is tough that it's the same week. So, um, you know, post like it's your job is just this week. So if you have to, oh, okay. so if you have to go back and do the seven day group, like maybe catch up on Saturday or Sunday or something like that, but just make sure you get the gist of it. Um, you know, if you miss a post here and there this week, it's not the end of the world, but it also, I mean, you really do want to start forming a habit. So just, yeah. just don't put too much stress in that group. Just be like, okay, Monday morning or, you know, Wednesday, one time is a recipe share. So I'm going to do that. And even if you don't like post in the group, if that's too stressful, just make sure you do it. So just yeah. kind of use it as a template, you know, it's not the end of the world if you, you aren't like saying you did it, but I would make sure you do do it. So you don't have to yeah. go into the group and check in if that's more stressful because you've got that seven day group too. Just use it as a guideline. And, um, yeah, but I have a lot of coaches that tell me like after their first seven days of that posting group, they're like, Oh my gosh, I have had so many people talk to me, engage with me and things like that. Yes. Yeah. Because when you're posting, people have things to talk to you about. And yeah. I always try to ask like a question at the end. Um, not every time, but a lot of times, if you see how I post, I'm like, you know, I could be picture posting a picture of donuts and I'd be like, what's your favorite donut flavor? <laughs> you know, but, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Just try to get people to talk to you and engage with them. I just, I think not that I get intimidated, but I feel like, like your posts and P Melissa's posts. And I feel like Sarah's posts and Angela's posts and Tanner's posts. Like, I feel like all you guys are so full of knowledge and your posts are like 10 times better. And I just feel like mine are just, okay. So just like starting. So it's like, I shouldn't be comparing myself to anybody. No. And if you want to, you can go back to the beginning of my Instagram posts and they are awful. They are terrible. I did not start off and just, you know, ha have these awesome ideas and things like that. So don't worry. It's better to have it done than to wait and never do it and wait for it to be perfect. Yes. See, I, like, that's another thing, the reason why I didn't post is because I would seriously, like, work on it for a whole day. Don't just do that! <laughs> you got a life! You got your mom! Don't worry about it! No, people are going to spend like, 30 seconds looking at your post. Do not do that. <laughs> that's what I was doing. And it was like, I've gotten a lot better about not caring as much what people thought. Because, like, obviously, back when I was younger, like, I seriously, like, would worry myself sick about just what anybody thought of me and now it's just like life's too short and you have to tell yourself this if they don't like it it's facebook they can keep scrolling it's not a big deal <laughs> mm -hmm. and the people that are your lifers and the people that really need that they're going to be like girl i love you i have people that have you know unfriended me i have people that make fun of me i don't care they're not my lifers and those aren't the people that i want to help so um, you know, not, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea and who freaking cares <laughs> because you don't need them. It's not high school. It's not, you don't need them. So you get to pick your friends, you get to pick your challengers, you get to pick your coaches, enjoy that. And the people that would even care or judge you are people that you don't want on your team anyway. So screw it. So if that post makes you happy, do it. And, and sometimes you just have to close your eyes and just do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've done it. Yep. And just walk away. You know, and I have some people that are like, oh, I hate watching myself on video or I hate listening to myself on video or I hate my voice. That's fine. Don't push play. Just post it and go away. <laughs> so um you just you just have to realize like, do I want to live in fear? Because what if somebody that doesn't matter judges me and rolls their eyes and keeps scrolling? It's not like they're gonna be like, yo, Ashley, you're a freak. Why did you make that post? They're not. <laughs> um well, you so just don't worry about it. You know what really offended me was like a couple weeks ago. Do you remember when your sister was going to like a retirement party? Or oh my gosh. Yes. I, I like, and like she posted, I was a, like on fire. Like I was on fire. I was just like so I was just like trying to keep it positive, trying to keep it positive because like that's another thing is like struggled. Like I just worry, get anxious and like so yeah. it's been doing like that 30 day push with 
Um, yeah, I love that. She's Shirley like, Johnson. That's been like a godsend. But anyway, I like I was just so irritated. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, you have to think about this. Her life must suck that she can't go to the grocery store without putting herself together and putting on makeup. Like, how do you function if you feel like, I, I, this is the first time I think I've worn makeup in two weeks. Like, <laughs> what is your problem? Do you, do you go to the grocery store in a whole full suit? Like, it does not, like, people like that, you just have to be like, I don't care about this person. Her life, you know, her I life feel bad for her. is sad. <laughs> yes. Like, when she tried to say she's a business owner, I was like, yep, I am too. And if they don't like me, they don't have to join me. They don't. <laughs> Why would you judge someone like that? Oh, yeah. I was like, no, I don't think this is raunchy. She was like, I wasn't saying she's raunchy. I was like, mm, it wasn't nice either way. <laughs> so, but honestly, like, I've had people say things here and there. I have somebody, and it was in my timeline, that somebody said something I posted a clip about something about cheating or something and it, I just kind of said like it was like you know I just don't understand it like love the one you're with yada yada and I tried to put a positive spin on it and this person that I barely knew he totally read it wrong and was like you probably deserve to be cheated on if you're still with that guy that's cheating on you I was like you didn't even read my post my husband's never cheated on me that's not what I said at all <laughs> like, and I got so like irritated about it but you know what people are you just have to be like this person needs help if they're going to like look for somebody to, to like look for to make somebody upset or bring somebody down goodbye you can delete them you can block them i did i ended up blocking it was crazy so just you can't not you can't worry about like the one percent of yeah. losers that are going to make you upset because you have you have lives to change you can't live in fear of what if because that's going to hold you back from changing those lives um anything else you guys have questions with or um just kind of wanted to you know kind of give you a pep talk and it, you know um just feel really awesome because melissa just shared this with a couple you know of you guys that are really working and um it's really cool to see you guys you know kind of stick together i you know i saw that you guys are doing the seven day group and you're rocking it i'm like oh my gosh melissa's team is blowing this up this week i love it so um good job for you guys that's really awesome and just keep you know doing it because it's something you love and you want to help people and for that reason and for those five goals i i, I had you write down um and you know i want you both to tell me like your biggest reason so you you, you can i want you to write down five but tell me what your biggest reason is for wanting to um you know be successful invite people things like that <clears throat> I think mine was eventually to like be a stay at home mom. Okay. What do you do now for work? I'm a therapist. Okay. So I just wanted to be able to like, you know, have more income, be able to spend more time with my daughter while being held accountable myself and helping other people. Mm -hmm. That's and getting more support for myself too. Yep. I have a tendency to fall off when nobody's like kicking my butt to do it. Yep. Exactly. Especially with my eating. Ugh. Yeah, me too. Being pregnant has been so rough. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't want this. <laughs> that was my excuse. I was like, this is my excuse to eat whatever I want. And then I got up to 252 pounds, and I was like, oh, my God. What did I do to myself? I just ruined my body. <laughs> it was worth it. Every chicken nugget. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so to be a stay-at-home mom. So that's – I would write that down somewhere where you find yourself doing your work um, and just kind of saying some, you know, that's why you do it when you don't feel like it. And that's why you make time when you don't have time is because, and I can tell you, I did that for the first two years is just, I, I, I would stay up later. I would get up earlier and no, I didn't want to, but I knew that I could come home from a job I hated. And I knew that I could bring my husband home from a job. He worked 65 hours of work a week. And I didn't want to have a, a child with somebody that was gone all the time. So for me, that was something. And I literally visualized it. I visualized myself up in my office working. I visualized myself, you know, going to a movie during the day with my husband because I could, um, you know, things like that. So those things that are really important to you, like dropping your kids off at school, picking them up after school, like things like that, visualize that and know it's going to come true if you just do a little bit each day. 
honestly, a power hour a day can get you so far. And so I do a, you know, a power hour and then I, I do about two hours where I focus on, um, you know, training or checking in with coaches or things like that. And then I do about an hour at night. So I work that I work full time and I can easily get everything done in four hours a day. Mm -hmm. But for you, you know, doing other things, you can easily get it done in an hour, two hours tops. You need to do things like not scroll through Facebook. That your Facebook feed does not make you money. It does not. <laughs> so, you know, don't do that. If you, if you want to set a timer and give yourself five minutes, fine. But that's not, that's not a money making. That's not a life changing activity. It's inviting. It's following up. It's adding new people, sending new messages and, um, you know, just checking in with your challengers and coaches. That's it. So, you know, I find myself, I probably yesterday scrolled Facebook two hours yesterday, not throughout the day, at least. I just was so unproductive yesterday. I was like, what did I do all day? I was just like, and there is actually an app on your computer. If you look it up, let's see what, it gets rid of your newsfeed. Um, let me share my screen. It's amazing. And I try to not let myself on my phone because, um, oh, there's my face. Um, okay. So if I click home, this is what my newsfeed looks like. No newsfeed. And there's just a quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. <laughs> it changes all the time. So it's called newsfeed eradicator. So if you Google that, it gets rid of your newsfeed and it is so helpful because I, you, you don't even know how many times a day you just click home just because, and just like, whoop, 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 what can I see? So this is definitely something that saved me. I'm not let myself do my power hour on my phone. In the, in the morning, I make myself do it on my computer because otherwise I will scroll through. So I am just a champion scroller. So I know that's something that I struggle with. So when you find out and try to kind of be um, cognizant of what is your biggest time waster this week. So try to think about it. If you have to journal like every part of your day and try to think of what I can be doing less, mine is always social media scrolling. So that's something I'm very cognizant of. No, I don't need to do that. I need to send my invites. <laughs> and it can be something like, if it's something that you enjoy doing, it can be a reward for you. Like, all right, send your three invites and you get five minutes to scroll. I don't know why. It's important to me. It just is something I like doing. <laughs> Probably because I'm nosy. Um, but yeah, so focus on getting your power hour done before you let yourself do the other things. And those things that you put off because you don't feel like doing are usually the things that you need to do to move your business forward. So do those uncomfortable things first and they're out of the way. They're done. Um, so Ashley, what would you say your biggest thing is? I would say, I guess, to be like a stay-at-home mom and like more, or like to be there for my daughter as she's growing up. Okay. Not having to go to work. And also just the fact of accountability like, yeah. with like the fit for family group, like those ladies, like just to be accountable to them. And mm -hmm. just do, you, wanna do you have a success help. partner yet, Ashley? I'm sorry. Do you have a success partner yet? Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know. Do you want to D? Yeah. Okay. okay. I wasn't yeah. sure if you wanted to or not. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay, good. So I would start a, a message and just, um, this is what I do. I have, I have a girl and I say, okay. Um, and we, and actually we, a lot of times we'll power hour a couple times a week. So if you guys can find a time that works for you, um, every day, it's Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Uh, there's like four of us that hop on. You guys are all welcome to come. And we do a power hour every morning, the same link that you used to get here. So if you ever can make it oh. 7 a.m., we do that every morning. And a lot of times I'll hang out. I think it was on it till like 1130 today. <laughs> we started at seven. And so I wasn't power houring, but I was like doing things for my challenge group and da, da, da. And me and Sarah just kind of, it was just nice to have somebody else there. Like I, she was working. So I was working. <laughs> it was so funny. Like one day we did it. We're like, it was five hours later. We're like, you can tell we do not have kids. Like <laughs> we've been on here for five hours. Um, but I would uh, at least do at least twice a week, try to get a, a pow live power hour and you can invite your whole team and just kind of, I, I set a timer and then I have this sheet. It's in the, um, 
Live Power Hour. It's awesome. So it says, it's in the Live Power Hour group. Five minutes, add three contacts to your network. Ten minutes, send three hey girl messages. And that's just like where I go through people from my list and I say, hey girl, how are I go to their page first and see what I can say. Ten minutes, follow-ups. Ten minutes, send invites. Five minutes, check in with your challenge group or customers. Five minute engage with likes and comments on the last five posts. That has made such a difference. I go to my last five posts and I write down people that likes and commented and then I will, in, I will write them down and I will engage with like three to five that day that I have time with and then I write the rest in my planner that I can, those can be my hey girl messages later. So that has been so huge. And then say you made a challenge group post, they liked or commented on it. That is an open window to be like, hey, girl, I just wanted to let you know that it means so much to me that you, you know, I know it sounds silly, but it means so much to me that you, you know, showed me some love on my post. Sometimes it's really hard for me to put myself out there, so I just really appreciate it. I saw you liked my post about our fitness boot camp that we're running. Tell me about you. What are you currently doing for fitness? And that doesn't sound weird at all. She liked your post, so it gives you an enter an entrance into talking about that. And that has been a game changer for new coaches. So definitely try that because whether it's a coach post, whether it's a challenge group post, you can go right into it without it sounding like a creep. Like, hey, what's your, what are you doing for fitness? You just randomly message somebody, they'd be like, no, but they liked or commented on something that, you know, and that brings, that opens the door. And that is an easy way to get in and invite them to a challenge group or invite them to the free group and things like that. So just as long as you focus on building relationships, talking to people, asking them questions, being a good listener, you inviting them to a challenge group is not going to sound salesy. And you just have to get that out of your head. They're not going to think you're a salesperson if you're asking them questions like, do you think you could handle 30 minute workouts at home? What's your biggest struggle, the fitness side or the nutrition side? Um, you know, what are your goals? And when they say, oh, well, you know, I'm really st struggling with the fitness side because I have two kids stop and then talk about being a mom. Oh my gosh, I know all about it. How, what are yours? Da, da, da. Don't be a robot and boom, boom, boom. Have little tidbits of conversations in there as well. So honestly, just take it back to the basics. Don't overcomplicate things. Make conversations. Be a good listener and invite people. And if they say no, okay, no problem. You know, do you want to get added to our free group? Um, real quick thought. The home maintenance group that you were talking about, are you saying like, should we create our own or no. how should we? No, you can just be in there and, and add people to that. It's called the, um, you can ask Krista. I know she's um, been wor working on it. It's a, it was a post. I put, shared the um, link in the beautifully made group today. So you can add yourself that there. And they already have people scheduled to post like Monday through Sunday few times a day. So, you know, right now it's a quiet group with probably 200 or so people in there, but it's going to start being posting and it's, it's going to be good for people. And what I'm doing is people that aren't active in my challenge group, I'm taking them out of there and I'm putting them in there. People cannot stay in my challenge group unless they're posting weekly. So um, that's something new I started because I want people that want to be in here. So I kind of, and then I'll like the first week I actually have my assistant count everybody up and then she makes a post of who isn't participating. And I say, okay, you have one day to like comment and get back on it. Otherwise you're out of here. And um, Ashley Lindsay started doing that and she said her participation is like through the roof. So yeah. And if you have, I think Melissa is thinking about hiring um, Christina, who I use. She like it's like five dollars an hour, and I mean, you she could easily do a challenge group for two hours a week, like ten dollars a week for her to do all this. That really helps with engagement and things like that. So um, just little things that help people feel, you know, make sure that they know that they have to participate to be in the group, and it's an exclusive group. Then that makes people want to be a part of it, kind of thing. So, any other questions? What's the biggest mistake you think new coaches make? Um, not wanting to invite people because they're scared of people saying no. So, I think you just have to know people are going to say no and just get some thick skin and get over it <laughs> because they're not right. going to all say yeah Did, you know if you didn't say yes to melissa right away you can't be mad at somebody else if yeah. they, you know 
So you have to think about that. Like for me, I was the person that was like, yep, sign me up. But I know that most people are not like that. So um, you just know that a no means not right now. And even if you invite people and even if you word vomit and even if you screw it up, that gives you a chance to take a screenshot and send it to Melissa and be like, hey, I did this invite. Can you just look at this and see how I did what you would do differently? So it's not a failure because you have that and you can say, well, how should I change? And yeah. so I'd rather a coach like verbally vomit beach body on somebody and invite them and say, here, this is what I would do different next time than them be too afraid to invite and then never ask anybody. And you guys know where the Google Drive is, right? The team drive where the scripts and stuff are? I believe. Yeah, that's really helpful. Take a look at those. Um, and don't feel bad about, you know, taking a screenshot and posting in your team page and be like, hey, guys, how would you do different? What would you do differently? Because the beginning, I think the hardest part is learning how to talk to people and how to invite people and things like that. So always, always, always don't think you're stupid. Don't think it's annoying. Always ask for you know, somebody to help you in the beginning when you're first learning and that's how you get better. And that's what I did with my coach. And that's what I have with my new coaches. And they're like, Oh, that sounds awesome. Thank you. So nobody is, I would rather somebody ask me a million questions that you probably think are stupid than somebody sit in a corner and not talk to me and be like, I don't want her to think I'm stupid. I don't know how to do this. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> we like when you talk to us, we like when you ask questions. I was that annoying girl that asked a million questions and had to sit in the front and was not embarrassed to <laughs> ask anything because it took me a long time to understand a lot of things. So um, nobody will think you're stupid. It's, it's just a team and we're here to help. See, that's me. I'm, I'm afraid, like, I'm going to ask too many questions, and then I'm afraid people are going to think I'm stupid. So then that just scares me in itself, like, so I just want to yeah. shut it down. Yeah. Um, I would, honestly, I know you posted on that, the post they made about the daily devotional, and I would start doing that every day and just freaking yes. give your anxiety over to God because you don't need to deal with that. <laughs> Amen. Like, that really, I really needed that day, and I feel like, that was such a good blessing that you opened it up to that page instead of the right page. Whatever. Yeah, no, it was July. <laughs> hey, I needed it. I yeah. needed that. I went to Giant Eagle that night and I tried to find that book just because I was in Giant Eagle because it was late. Yeah. I got off work at like midnight. It's and called I was like calling. It's on Amazon for like seven bucks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Maybe getting it on Kindle if it was available. That way I always have it with me. So Yeah, there's a couple of good ones. But I mean, honestly, like and I have, I have bad anxiety too. And I, and you running used to help and now I don't run and it's been really bad these last couple of months with pregnancy because I haven't been exercising as hard or as much and things like that. So you just have to like start each day and I start it with a gratitude list and I just write like five to 10 things I'm grateful for. And I've started like, it's like a prayer journal and a gratitude list. And I just spend like 10 minutes and I write things I'm thankful for. And then when you start worrying about yourself, just be like, who cares? You, who cares? Like, just know when you're getting into that zone and you're, you're, you know, being anxious and you're worrying too much and just say like, am I going to think about this, you know, a year from now? No, don't worry about it. And just, you just have to give your fears and anxiety over to him because it's way too much for you to deal with. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, okay, well, I think that I'm going to hop off, and then, Danielle, did you have anything else? I think that was pretty much it. Okay. I've been with your sister a lot. Good. <laughs> you should. Like, Sorry, I hope I'm not so annoying, or I hope I'm not the one who's so no, annoying. Don't even start with that anymore. I get really excited. Like, when people are talking to me, I'm like, this person is going places. <laughs> so, okay, does she refer to you as D? Is that you? She did until she knew, like, who I was. So I told her, I was like, I'm Danielle from high school. She's like, oh, okay. Okay, because I knew she'd tell me D a couple times. I didn't know if that was you or somebody else. Okay. I changed my name back on Facebook just so it would be easier for everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, just, I mean, and if you need a, a good book, too, have you guys ever heard of Go For No? No. Mm -hmm. well, I've added it on my PD list. But not oh, oh, my gosh. Ashley, that'll be a great one for you. It basically talks about just doing it and failing forward and not caring. So that would be a good one for you. <laughs> um, I'll just leave you with this. My favorite part was that they had two groups of people and it was like a ceramic 
pottery class or something and the one group had to plan and make the perfect pot and the second group had to just bang out you know a bunch of it was kind of quantity um, bang out a bunch of pots until they figured it out and the people that were like making blueprints and trying to figure out the perfect pot and things like that you know and then the per people that were just like this one sucks this one sucks this is how we do differently theirs was the better pot and they made it happen sooner because they were doing and you learn from doing, you don't learn from sitting there in fear and planning and trying to make it perfect. So, you know, it's not going to happen if you're just sitting there thinking about it. So your post should not spend any more than like five to maybe 10 minutes if it's like a story post, tops. And, you know, don't sit there and worry about it all day. That is a waste of your time that you could be spending with your daughter. If your goal is to spend time with your family, do that and just make a post, it doesn't matter if it's crappy, get it done, and then if, you're, if you wanna see how it can change, you can send Melissa a message, hey, do you think that there's anything I should do about this? None. So, don't stress about it, you have bigger things to worry about than people that don't matter, that may be judging you, because they're just gonna roll their eyes and keep scrolling, and you're never gonna know anyways. <laughs> so, all right, well have a good night, ladies. Thanks so much Thank for hopping you. on. And thank you. thank you. You're welcome. And I'll, I'll put this on um, YouTube so I can share it with the other girls. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Bye.